Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I thought I'd make this video because I just saw this, uh, it's a video that a dairy farmer actually put up in Australia. Really interesting. And I've actually seen a few articles lately too which are looking at uh, the number of dairy farmers who are quitting the industry and they seem to be a little bit worried by these new vegan alternatives coming out. But let's just uh, watch this video together and have a listen to what this lady in Australia is saying. As many of you guys know, um, dairy industry is in a pretty, pretty tough spot. Um, it's something that my dad's done his entire life. It's something that I've loved doing my entire life since I've been involved. Um, but it has come to a point where our family, we've had to make the decision that it's it for us. Um, we're at a point where we, our average, uh, I guess, how much we're getting paid for milk is about 38 cents a litre a year. Uh, 38 cents a litre across the year. And it's completely unsustainable. We, um, we can't really afford to keep going anymore. Um, I guess we call ourselves cow people. We do it because we love the cows and a lot of dairy farmers are like that. And we're forever the optimist that the industry will get better. But for our family, we've come to a point where we can't, we can't do it anymore. So that's a very sad dairy farmer there in Australia. Um, the price of dairy is too low for them to for it to be sustainable for them for their their family business there. What I found interesting is she considered herself a cow person, which is really really bizarre, seeing as all those cows go to the slaughterhouse, the bobby calves are all killed at a fraction fraction of their lifespan. They're all taken away, separated from their mothers. Um, it's a horrifically cruel and abusive industry, um, even if the dairy farmers don't see it that way, it is for the animals. And this is not a video to attack this lady, okay? It is nothing personal between vegan activists and dairy farmers, okay? We understand something. We understand this lady here, she's indoctrinated into dairy farming. I mean, it's been passed down traditionally. She said her father did it. Her father's father probably did it too. Something that she considers normal and she's providing a product for society. But what's happening is demand is changing because we demand you release those animals and stop breeding them into existence to exploit them. And it's time to move into plant-based alternatives. Now, we're not slowing down or letting up. Uh, dairy farmers are dropping off and I think they're going to continue to drop off because we are going to change demand. We're going to change the world. That's how activism works. We see an injustice, the dairy industry, okay? We look at it from the victim's perspective, not the farmers, although they are victims of conditioning. They're not the true victims, which are the animals. We see the injustice and we speak up, we stand up and we expose it, okay? And that's what's happening. And we have amazing vegan alternatives, vegan magnums. I've seen this uh, article in The Independent. Vegan magnum signals increasing problem for dairy industry, says farmers. Now, they're worried about these vegan alternatives to dairy, cruelty-free, better for the environment. Like, what are you worried about? Why don't you just move industries? You're gonna to have to move industries sooner or later because dairy's gonna become obsolete. Now, do I have no compassion at all for this lady? No, of course I do. Like, of course I have some compassion. She's upset. You know, look at her, look at her, she's upset. I sympathize with her. But I also sympathize with the animals that are bred into existence, exploited, killed, kidnapped, you know, murdered in slaughterhouses as well. And I'm more inclined to sympathize with them more. The thing is, this dairy farmer here, she can get another job. Those animals do not get another child. They do not get another life. They'll be murdered, turned into burgers. And it's just an injustice. Also, like dairy products are destroying the environment and our resources the land use, you know, the amount of grain fed to these animals, the amount of water consumption. It's like a thousand litres of water per litre of milk. You know, and people talk about almond milk, doesn't even come close. It'll be better for the environment as well. And human health, dairy, we're not baby cows. We have to let go of the dairy milk. We stopped breastfeeding when we were a child. Come on, get off the tit. Let's get off the saturated fat and cholesterol as well. So what I recommend for dairy farmers to do is, while they still can, to transition their farms. You can check out the Vegan Society. They have helpful farmers who are animal farmers and want to transition to plant-based farming. The demand is going to change with or without the consent of the farmers. It doesn't matter what the dairy farmers want. It's what the consumer wants. We demand 
the products that get produced. Farming, dairy farming is just a symptom. The cause is non-veganism, okay? So the rise of veganism means the fall of the dairy industry. So yeah, like this isn't a video to go, I hate her, or I hate uh, dairy farmers who are indoctrinated into this system where they think using animals is fine and moral and okay. I understand the psychology there. Um, I have been less sympathetic in the past in some of my videos, some of my um, more, you know, controversial things I've said about dairy farmers when they've been upset about the dairy industry going down. This isn't one of those videos. It's nothing personal between me and dairy farmers or any vegan activists. It shouldn't be, per we shouldn't make this personal. We want them to let the animals be. That's what we want. And we're gonna do that with or without uh, the dairy farmers coming along for it. We're gonna change demand and we're going to expose this cruel and abusive industry until it is no longer. Now, I wanna make a little, little shout out to Project Calf. Now, Project Calf have released a map. Now, this isn't the only map that's been released recently. The guys at Aussie Farms released a big map exposing where all the farms were in Australia. There's another one happened in the UK called Project Calf and exposed the locations of about 9,000 dairy farms. 9,000 dairy farms, so the public know where these places are. And if you want to bring your camera down there, you know, take, put, bring your zoom lens and just zoom in on those calves being taken away from their mothers. Um, how about a truck uh, load of these animals being sent off to the slaughterhouse? And, you know, you can, you, this is, you know, free for us to do. Uh, I think it's important that because these places rely on secrecy, they rely on their practices being kept secret. They like to perpetuate this humane dairy fairy tale. And that's all coming to the light now, okay? So yeah, uh, vegan activists aren't slowing down. Um, obviously, I have sympathy for farmers who feel like this is part of who they are, but don't identify with your job to the point where it like makes you upset. Just move into more ethical alternatives, plant-based alternatives, dairy-free products. You know, we need farmers, but we don't need farmers who abuse and exploit sentient animals. That's all gonna be a thing of the past. So. What I recommend you do is use the hashtag FebuDairy to help expose the dairy industry and help leave the dairy industry as a dark part of history and propel forward the vegan alternatives and let's create a more peaceful, compassionate world for everyone to live. Peace. I guess we call ourselves cow people. We do it because we love the cows and a lot of dairy farmers are like that. And... <laughs> dairy is f***ing scary. Try almond milk, hemp milk, soy milk, flax milk, rice milk, Brazil nut milk, macadamia nut milk, cashew milk, any milk but dairy milk.